What's up guys, it's Mike here with Growing Indoors 365. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We're back in the tent. Back in the tent. Give you a quick tent update, let you know what's really going on. As you can see here, we're really seeing some significant overgrowth, but the lettuce is still sturdy. The lettuce is still hardy, okay? It's time to start snacking on this and start consuming this before it gets out of control. It's already out of control, okay? There's no way to put it. This lettuce is already completely out of control. I should have been consuming this probably about a week and a half ago already, but I haven't. I don't know why, but uh, these leaves are perfect for some nice, um, you know, I, I, what I like to do is I like to do like tacos in these and the leaves are just perfect. You could do nice little, considered lettuce wraps, but it's not a wrap because you can just put whatever your choice of protein inside of the leaf and kind of like roll it up and consume it that way. So. I like to do it that way, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, in addition to a quick update on the top tier level here, we're also gonna head down below where I am um, setting up the two new reservoirs. And uh, there's certainly some imperfections here. I mean, these, these, all of these reservoirs, the, the white ones, they're, they're pretty dated. You know, I've had them for well over five years now. Uh, and one of the issues is that I came across, let's just take a look down here, as you can see. I have some cracks here, a little bit of, it's, they're very brittle, very frail these, these containers are. I just, as you saw me, I just put some fresh water in here. Here are the tops, and I'm gonna be putting some of those little plantlings in here right now. So for this reservoir right here, I don't know how it's gonna hold up. I'm, you know, a little concerned, even though the water level will not go up this way. Obviously we have a hole here, for the tubing for the pump probably stay down here but overall i'm a little concerned based on how much life i really have remaining with this reservoir but in due time hopefully we get that uh you know the thumbs up challenge met and i get some new reservoirs or i might just have to uh you know cave in and just do all new reservoirs but i haven't found anything with this type of depth this is what i'm looking for this is the appropriate depth for this setup all right let's take a closer look all right, now, I, as you can see here, I've dumped both buckets full of water. This one I'm still suspect on. <laughs> the, the, the water level came a little close to the crack there, but that's okay. So if you're new to the channel and you're not aware of what I'm currently doing, I wanna explain to you real quick. What this is is an aerator stone, okay? You plug this in to the basically a tube and you'll see me do it. I put this, uh, I put an end of a tube in here and I also put the other end into this pump here and the aerator stone produces air throughout here. And you'll see that in, in, in just a few minutes. Uh, and what that does is provide oxygen to the plant. Now, a lot of people ask me, what is this and where do I get it? What this is, is a lot of times, uh, what this is used for is uh, a light for fishing tanks. And it kind of goes, it, it sticks to the side of the wall. But a lot of times, the method that I use here with these aerator stones, you would simply have this basically laying on a flat surface inside of your reservoir. And what happens is based on uh, uh, the large consumption of forced air through these aerator stones, the bottom of a plastic bin, a tote reservoir starts to vibrate, okay? And it's, that, that's, a, that's a noise that you wanna avoid. So I came up with this method of basically taking these, simply putting them into just like that. See that? got a really sturdy grip on it. Let me just kind of put the camera a little bit this way. And let me show you what, what happens here is, okay, I simply just put that in the water, kind of position it in the appropriate realm of like where I feel that the, um, that the, that the hose will kind of reach it, even though this is a smaller one. And all you gotta do is press it down. As you press it down now, it won't come up. It's stuck to the bottom because of those suction cups. And I'm gonna do the same for this one. Now, I used to get these long ones at the local pet store. They no longer have them as of right now. So I had to get the uh, the smaller ones, but they are just as efficient. So let me go ahead and situate both of them. Let me go get the tubing, and then I'll show you how it's all set up. All right, so I have my, uh, I have my bundle of tubing. 
what I do first is I kind of just put it through the hole just like that and I kind of see where it would land there now the fact that the air pump is so close to the ground here you don't really need that much that much uh, that much tubing so I'll just cut it there and so I'm gonna do my first one what I like to do first is drop it right into the actual the actual uh, air stone the aerator stone get that tightened in there it's off my hands and then simply here's the air pump and all we do is want to make sure there's no water here just drop it right in there perfect and as you can see again these are all open I'm gonna close them as soon as I turn the air pump on you're gonna see it go off but Give me one sec, I'm gonna position the camera so you can see what happens. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the air pump right now. All right guys, we have a bit of a situation here. Um, as you saw just now, I, I couldn't get the pump to work and I don't know what's going on, but I actually have a third pump, but I can't find it right now. So this is where I am right now. Um, I don't know what to do in regard to this. These seedlings need to get in here immediately. So I'm in a bit of a situation and you know, um, I believe that that air pump has some sort of warranty to it. I would have to, you know, call the company and ship it to them. I don't even know the process yet. I, I know nothing about it, but I can tell you this, that I'm stuck unless I find my other pump. I can get things moving, but as of right now, I don't know what to do. Okay, well, I'm gonna end the video here. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm, I might even have to scrap those and start from scratch because they're getting to the point where they really needed to be inside the reservoir uh, a few days ago. So I apologize about the video, guys. This is totally uninspected, unexpected. So if, if I do find the pump, I'll go ahead and get things uh, set up. But I looked for it and I haven't found it. I don't know where it could be. I mean, this area of my basement is a complete mess. Not, not really, I mean, it's overall fairly organized and all my hydroponic stuff is kind of situated in a certain area. So I'm pretty surprised that I'm unable to find it. But anyway, I'm not gonna just, uh, you know, keep making this video because there was a purpose to it. A continuation from we left, you know, from where we left behind uh, from the previous video. So anyway, I hope you're all growing well. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a fantastic week. This is it here from Growing Indoors 365. Make sure to check me out on growingindoors365.com as well as our Instagram channel and our Facebook. Make sure to give me the thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and share the video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great week.